Tonight, everyone wants to know who was 23-year-old Mark Condit, the man suspected in the Austin bombings. Condit died after blowing himself up. Now we're looking into what possibly could have motivated his crime spree. We have live team coverage tonight. Starting with Jeremy Rogowski, who is in Austin this evening. Jeremy, you spent the day digging. What'd you find? Well, answers are very hard to come by because Mark Condit's background is rather bare. He had no criminal history, no record of military service, and no immediate indicators about why he would go off on a three-week bombing spree. Mark Condit's past provides little insight into his future as a serial bomber. There are not a lot of uh, meaningful details about his background. Uh, that would reveal anything unique about him. Family Facebook photos indicate Condit was homeschooled. In 2013, his mother posted, I officially graduated Mark from high school, adding that he has 30 hours of college credit too. Austin Community College confirms he was a student there for two years. And in a 2012 class blogging assignment, a Mark Condit from Pflugerville described himself as not that politically inclined. But he offered strong opinions on controversial topics, such as why gay marriage should be illegal, writing that homosexuality is not natural. In another blog post, Condit considered doing away with sex offender registration. School officials say he did not graduate from college, and in 2014, Condit was hired on by Crux Manufacturing, a small engineering and machine shop business. The owner there called Condit, quote, very quiet and introverted. He said he was not confrontational, but over time did not meet job expectations and was fired last August. Condit's former employer added there were no warning signs of a future crime spree. And with the serial bomber now dead, Governor Abbott hopes digital forensics will reveal more clues. Because we believe that we will have access uh, to computers, to phones, to uh, other media information that he has, we will be able to put pieces of the puzzle together uh, to explain what happened. And back to that blog from six years ago, Condit said that he enjoyed things like cycling, tennis, reading, and listening to music, normal everyday activities, normal hobbies. And that is echoed by relatives we tracked down in Colorado. They sent us a statement which reads in part, Quote, our family is a normal family in every way. We love, we pray, and we try to inspire and serve others. That statement from relatives also said we had no idea of the darkness that Mark must have been in. Back to you. It's really something to see a family really caught off guard here. Jeremy, thank you.